Have you ever made a building series where you wondered if it's supposed to be built on a massive mountain while building it in a flat world? Because I did. So for this video, I will teach you how to move structures, houses, or builds in Minecraft using slash clone commands. It is quite easy, actually. It took me less than an hour to figure it out. So the first thing to do when using slash clone command is that you find the corners of the building you want to clone. It works like a copy and paste technique. Also, do mind that I will only tell you how to use slash clone command the right way. If you want more info about slash clone, check the video that I will link down below for the further use about slash clone commands. Now, after finding your corners, I want you to press on your keyboard together F3 and Shift. This will show the directions where it's supposed to spawn. So, I'll give you an example. Find the red line and look where it's facing. I like to call it the length of the build. So, if I copy this one straight line of red blocks and face east, what do you think will happen? Will it go up or down? If you said down, that's correct. Because if the red line faces your side, it means it will spawn on that side. Let's try again. This time, I'll face west. What do you think will happen? Up or down? If you answer down again, you are correct. Because again, whatever or wherever the red line is facing, it will spawn on that side. This is also the same on the blue line or what I would like to call it, the width. So if I copy this blue line, it's gonna go up because it's facing that side. It will do the same even if I face the other side because remember, it will spawn where it's facing. Now, to use it entirely on a build, we will use both the width and length. First, this box. The box is the imaginary outline that encases your build or house. For this example, find your corners and choose where you want to build it. Press F3 and Shift on your keyboard and remember where it's supposed to spawn. So you won't have to worry about this. So if I copy this box, where should I paste it? A, B, C, or D. Remember, wherever the blue and red line faces, it will spawn on that side. So if you chose D, you are correct. Now you know how to use slash clone on a box Let's try it on a house. Again, use the imaginary box. But you don't have to put an entire box on that build. You can just do it like this. Put it on the corners. Find your corners by putting a block that faces the red and blue side. So if it faces like this, you will put this on this corner. Do not forget. You need the height as well. In short, take the corners of your build from top to bottom. For huge builds, like what I'm doing, I take it part by part to make it work because of its limits. Remember that always look at the block that you want to copy with or clone because it will be your coordinate. Find the place where you want to put the building and enter its coordinates by looking at it. It's the same when it comes to adjusting your build. If you want it higher, you have to find your corners and find where it's facing, then go to that corner and copy its coordinates by one block just like this. So that's all for this video. If you have questions, just comment down below and I'll try to answer them. Subscribe and leave a like. Also, check the description for the video link about the slash clone commands information. That's all. I hope this helped you. And see you in my next videos.